in the Pilbara region of Australia. I actually didn't really know what to expect, but it's got palm trees, got a beautiful beach. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So as you guys know, I'm back traveling on my own, back in the Lux, and I've actually gone further down south since that last video. So I've gone to a place called Karatha, and now I've just gone inland from that. So I'm in the Pilbara region of Australia, and I'm pretty much just gonna get straight into it today because I'm already at a national park, and I've just pulled up at Python Pools. So first things first, I'm actually gonna change my shoes and put some work bits on, because I feel like there's gonna be heaps of snakes around here. And then we'll start the walk in, and we'll see what it's like. Guys, the walk is seriously 100 meters. <laughs> I actually pulled up to a sign a little while back that said Python Pool when I was driving. And I just thought I would check the HEMA maps to see if there was anywhere closer to actually get to it because I was like an hour and a half walk away from it. And then when I checked, I saw that there was a road that come all the way around to it. But now we're here and it's literally 100 meters. So it's good that it cut off a lot of the hike, but now I feel really lazy. <laughs> But temperatures around here actually exceed 50 degrees sometimes. It's only 10 a.m. in the morning, but yeah, I don't really want to be hiking an hour and a half in that sort of weather anyway. <laughs> This is actually a really nice spot and we've got the whole place to ourselves, which is lovely. I just felt the water, it is pretty chilly, plus it's pretty stagnant. I don't know if you would actually want to swim there anyway, but I'm sure that water would actually warm up throughout the day when that sun has heaps more heat to it. But yeah, I reckon we'll get the drone up and we'll see what it looks like from up top. So I have just pulled up to this little lookout and I was just sitting here thinking about all the different landscapes that we have in Australia. Like you get the proper outback, which was the last few videos where it's brown, there's not much for ages, it's quite flat. And then you get all the beautiful beaches, the reefs, the surf beaches, the alpine areas. And then you get this, which is quite different. It's quite rocky and it's sort of hills on hills. They actually do a lot of mining in this area and yeah, they mine for iron ore. This next spot that we've just arrived at is called Deep Reach and apparently you can actually swim down the end here. It's only about a 400 meter walk and then apparently we get to a big river. So we'll go down there and check it out.
So some of you guys might remember, if you've watched most of my videos, I actually passed out at a waterfall once and it was actually in this Pilbara region. So as soon as I touched that water, I was like, nah, there's no way I am swimming. But yeah, just gone for a little bit of a drive and just got to this lookout, which yeah, looks over the river, which is really pretty. And then we're gonna go to the campground that I actually prepared earlier. I booked it last night and there was actually only one spot left, so lucky I did. And campgrounds in national parks in Western Australia are only about $11 per person so they're really cheap so I'll show you guys this and then we'll go and check out our spot So I just thought I'd go for a little bit of an afternoon stroll and uh, I wanted to do this thing because someone commented it and I actually reckon it's a really good idea and it was for me to answer a question from one of the comments from the video prior. So obviously I have a few up my sleeve before I post them so I'll pick a comment from like the latest one that was posted and the one that I picked I had a look at it when I actually had service. And it was, do you prefer the outback or the beach? And I've really thought about this comment because I just don't know, because they're so different. But I actually think my favorite is neither. <laughs> is that a choice? I think I like like green rainforest, like tropical vibe, like cans, <laughs> pretty much the East, like the top of the east coast of Australia is just absolutely beautiful. I also love the Alpine country, which is like down in Victoria and New South Wales. But if I had to pick like beach, is it a surf beach? Is it a, I don't know, like a reef? It's so hard. Uh, I think if I had to just blatantly pick beach or outback, I think I'll go beach. That answer could change eventually, but I think that's what I'll go with for now. <laughs> So got up nice and early, packed up camp and then started making my way back to the town of Karatha, which is about 130 k's back. And I did this purely for a barista made cup of coffee. Nah, not actual, but the coffee in Karatha is actually super yum, like the best I've had in a long time. We have just pulled up into the town of Karatha. Well, now I'm a little bit further out at a place called Dampier. And yeah, this is actually where Red Dog was born. And there's a whole story about Red Dog if you guys have seen the movie. It's also really windy, so I thought I would try this little fluffy thing. So hopefully that blocks out some of the wind. But last night when I had no service, I was just sort of like, all right, I'll go through the footage that I took yesterday and I will listen back to that question that I answered. And man, it took me a whole minute to answer that. You guys had the biggest insight to how indecisive my brain is. But yeah, I promise that when I do another one of that, I'll answer it a lot quicker. <laughs> so yeah, if you have any more questions, just comment them below. But yeah, I thought that we'd come back into this town, one, for coffee, <laughs> and two, because it's actually quite pretty. I actually didn't really know what to expect, but it's got palm trees, got a beautiful beach. And yeah, we'll go and check out what else is around here. Yeah. 
So I just pulled up at Hearson's Cove. Usually the water here is really blue, but I think because it's so windy, it's just like churning up all the sand. I was about to say snow. <laughs> all the sand underneath and making it quite murky. But yeah, probably chill here for a little bit, sit in the sun and relax. So did just go for a bit of a drive, actually just gone about 30 k's north of Karatha and pulled up at a point called Point Samson and it's actually really beautiful here. So I'll probably get the drone up soon and see what it looks like from up top. I actually was going to go down towards the Exmouth area but I've sort of had my beach fix now and I've already seen whales which was awesome. And yeah, I have also done a few videos on Exmouth anyway so if you did want to see them I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can check them out. But yeah, I'll probably make my way up to Broome and and then across the Gibb and start making my way across to Darwin. So yeah, I'm gonna just relax here for the rest of the day. I'll probably go for a bit of a run later. So I might just wrap the video up now. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.